Greetings, Legionists, Loyalists, Traitors, Xenos, and other sort of entities of Warhammer 40k. This is Arndelft. So, today, I decided to go out with XL Pudding and check out uh, the new Primera Space Marines at our local shop, Mind Games, where they were running a demo. And I got to see the side by side comparison of just how much larger Primera Space Marine is to a regular Space Marine, as you can see here. This ultramarine poised next to a regular, you know, ultramarine tactical marine, poised next to a primary space marine tactical, and an assault marine. And both of them are kind of just looking over, staring at that assault marine's huge, fragging, heavy bolter pistol thing. I mean, seriously, heavy bolters could be pistols now in the hands of one of these beasts. I mean, whoa. But, in any case, yeah. So, the Primera Space Marine. Now, one of the kickers that I've been hearing a lot about recently is a lot of people, uh, like I theorized in my original video on the Primera Space Marines when uh, Gilliman first announced them, was the possibility that regular Space Marines can be upgraded to Primaris Space Marines. Be that the case, um, well, one, it's awesome. Two, depending on how lengthy the process is, it would be an efficient way of upgrading chapters. Because they just send over squads or companies back to McCrag, Ultramar, I mean, uh, back to McCrag, or Kalth, or Mars, or wherever it is that they're doing this, and getting them upgraded. It would be an awesome way, depending on the, how lengthy it is, how complicated it is, etc. And then gearing them out, sending them back out to their chapters, along with probably new recruits of Primaris Space Marines. And it would explain how they're getting Ancients. I mean, seriously. Otherwise, why name them Ancients? They, they're not Ancients. Unless they're actual Space Marines who've been upgraded. So in a lot of the newer chapters that are like completely filled out with brand new recruits being upgraded to Primera Space Marines, um, it would make a lot of sense if these guys were being, oh, what do you call it? Uh, bugger. Well, yeah, if they were indeed being upgraded. All right, well, Next picture here. All right. Then doing a uh, smaller to medium to bigger. And I myself, XL Puddings pointed out multiple times, he does not like the way that Assault Marine is poised. And uh, I kind of agree with him. Someone said, oh, look, it's the new NASA Marines. And I laughed. I will honestly say that I laughed because it really does remind me of a a man in a NASA suit. But then on the left here we have the new sergeant. And his bolt pistol doesn't look that much bigger than a regular bolt pistol, but yet it's like half the size of a bolter. And then the bolt rifles are of course, you know, look like extended bolters, so yeah. And then from the back, I'm glad they put those fins on there. They make it look less awkward if it were just, if it were without those fins. I really wouldn't like the look of the pack, but I'm glad they at least have those there. Not only are they a space filler, but they help with the aerodynamics of like descent, takeoff, vectors, etc. All right, now we're getting a little bit into the Nurgle aspect. Got some Nurgle sneaking in here. I forget what they called this bloated thing. Uh, bloated was part of the name, if I'm not mistaken. But I wasn't paying nearly as much attention to the Nurgle side of things, so that doesn't really interest me. XL Pudding, of course, would be a little bit more familiar. And then we've got uh, the plasma gun there in the middle. And from what I know of these uh, longer extended rifles, uh, the bolters actually will, the bolt rifles will have rending one, unlike regular bolters. So that's a sheer out perk they have on regulation weapons. Uh, but extended range is a thing for all of these. It's what they have in common. The plasma gun, from what I know, will have a range of 30. 
and then be able to rapid fire at 15. Oh. All right, now we're definitely into the Nurgle. And we got over all the way on the right to our Primaris Space Marine for a bit of a size comparison, and then some uh, Primaris Assault Marines just lurking in the background. And honestly, the, these Nurgle Marines look so good. I'm not into Nurgle or Chaos, but I just love how detailed they are. I've got no idea what the bell is about, but there it is for your viewing bell pleasure stuff. But hey, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of artifact or relic. Okay, back over to Primera Space Marines, because hey, it's what we love. And we got our Sergeant, once again, all the way on the left, then our Plasma, we are attacking with Bolt Rifle. Then we have our Ancient, that guy with the flag, or sorry, banner, who is what is referred to as an Ancient, which it doesn't make sense that they have Ancients, unless these are Regulation Space Marines, who volunteered or whatever to become full, fl well, the, the primary space marines. It'd be awesome, you know, that these are like a, just another step up in the ev in almost the evolution of the uh, Homo Astartes, as it has been referred to. So you've got, you know, the regular Homo sapien, then you have the, uh, I, don't, I guess the scouts are kind of, they've still, most chapters don't have their scouts, upgraded with the black carapace and everything. That's why they only have carapace armor. They don't have that neural uplink where they are fully blended uh, with armor, which is why they go in that much lighter armor and are, well, as previously mentioned, scouts. So they're kind of a still a halfway blend between Astartes and man. So I wouldn't know what to call them offhand, but we'll just call them the Homo Astartes uh, Mark I. And then moving on to the next stage, we have the Homo Astartes Mark II, which is the full-fledged Space Marine. And then uh, the Primaris Space Marine would sort of basically be the Homo Astartes Mark III. And it's just the next evolutionary step in the process, because if you do think about it, this is a, a stage-by-stage -stage thing. And Gilman basically comes out and comes up with the next stage. Now, whether he was tapping into knowledge that his father had left behind, possibly have shared with him or whatnot, that the Imperium, of course, wasn't able to tap into or didn't dare tap into for 10,000 years, and it took Gilman to go and do that, or whether Gilman is doing this with B Belisarius in conjunction, like completely inventing this himself, uh, with his own knowledge and great minds, that that, that that's an interesting possibility. I I would definitely buy into that. All right, now this I really don't even know what to say. But welcome to the Flying Land Raider, aka Primaris Repulsor. Basically, there's no transports that the Primaris Space Marines have got to get yet. No, they don't have anything assigned to them yet. Um, plus, there's a lot of tanks which wouldn't fit them nearly as well as it does Regulation Space Marines. But this, custom designed for them. And it flies! It's basically the Flying Land Raider. I mean, can you argue with that? Talk about results. And... Not to mention, you know, Flying Land Raider. It doesn't have the side guns, the uh, sponsons, but it does have a turret on top. Uh, and it looks like it might have an access in the front, but that front, that, uh, well, no longer Twin Link last cannon. That last cannon up front makes it so a door in front wouldn't be able to open very far, which gives me the impression that there isn't going to be a door up front. However, there are door. those look like doors on the side, and I think I did spot a door in the back. I don't have a picture of that right now, but I do believe the uh, Primaris Repulsor does indeed have a door in the back, so it would have three access points on it for embarking and disembarking. And it looks like it has a Gatling cannon on top. I'm not sure if that's going to be the Imperial Guard variant like you see on the Tarox, or if it's going to be something bigger, stronger, and buffer. Not to mention, because, you know, it's Space Marine slash Primaris Space Marine, so you'd think it would definitely be tougher than the one mounted on the Tarox. You know, that one was Twin Link, now something else entirely. And then there are all these other guns on it. That one on the right there, right next to the uh, light, 
looks like a another LAS cannon. And then that one's just the left of it, not sure. Then there are these other ones that look like they're missile launchers. And there's one right above the door as well. And I believe, yeah, there is another one on the opposite side door. Which, intriguing, you know, intriguing options. I am eager to see the stats on this sucker. But yeah, the, this is Primaris Space Marine. Everything about them is more awesome. And I am personally very eager to get into this. I've actually already gone and uh, made a... Uh, oh, what do they call that thing? Oh, bugger! Words! I uh, pre-purchase. Or pre... It was a whatever. I've got one ready, and in two weeks from today, at midnight, I'm gonna pick it up from Mind Games, and that's gonna be awesome. So, yeah. But I'm still not a fan of the Eighth Edition's version of the Assault Phase, but you know, it's something I can live with. Everything that the uh, Eighth Edition is bringing in leaves me very, very excited, especially when it comes to vehicles. I've heard that the regulation Land Raiders can have upwards of 14 wounds, which, let's face it, is awesome. It's about time that tank was able to kick it into gear. And I've been reading up on a few other things, but overall, I don't know how much of it I... Um, because recently, Games Workshop, there were a lot of leaks. A lot of people that I'm assuming are Games Workshop handed out uh, kits to, and then there were leaks, so I'm assuming the people who had the kits leaked it. So, Games Workshop's kind of been licking their wounds and saying, you know, stop posting all that, so I I also made sure to crop some of the photos here, because there was a, uh, a data sheet there that had a bunch of the, uh, well, the stats on it and whatnot, so I wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be in the picture, because the last thing you need to be doing is further antagonizing them after their uh, rather embarrassing debut. But, yeah. I am overall extremely eager. Uh, when I do get it, I will be giving XL Pudding all of the Nurgle Marines. Uh, everything Nurgle. And then when he eventually gets a pack, he'll be giving me all the Primaris. That's what we did with the Dark Vengeance set. You know, he's Chaos. I am Space Marine. And we're both Legionists. Ironically, both on the same, same side. And then we do our war games, practicing for the day that we fight both Chaos and the Imperium. And that is going to be awesome. But I'd really love to get people's feedback. What do you think of 8th edition? Uh, so far, what we found out that's actually confirmed. And what do you think of the new primary Space Marine? Something I'd really like to know. What do people think? Do you think a regulation Space Marine can indeed become a Primaris Space Marine? It would be awesome if they could. Because that would indeed be the next step of the evolutionary process. Otherwise, in my opinion, it would be kind of lame if Space Marines couldn't become Primaris Space Marines. And it wouldn't make sense that they call somebody an Ancient. Because how can you be an Ancient if you aren't actually ancient? So, yeah. Thought processes. So, eagerly await feedback. Let me know what you all think. And uh, if you go ahead and like to... If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And if you're new to this channel and genuinely enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. In any case, don't y'all get into too much trouble or do? It's always up to you. Toodles! Now that button doesn't seem to be working the way it's supposed to. I know, right?